I'm your girl Julie. Some of you know me as Love From Jules, Juliet, Jules, whatever you want to call me. The fashion girl, the layering queen. But I'll tell you this, I am just simple old me. This is my life. Hi guys, I'm sorry I have not neglected you, nor have I forgotten about you. I've just been busy, busy, busy. But here I am, back on your screens. I've missed you all so much. So let me get you into a bit of insight of what I've been up to. Here I am taking over Ghana, and then we go off to my speaking engagements at the Afro Hair and Beauty. I'm super excited. Ghana is a beautiful place. And as a modern African woman, I love to visit so many African countries. And how better than to go to Ghana as a first stop? Guess who I bump into in the same exact hotel as me? Maya Atefo. Yes, my favorite fashion designer. So here we are, about to go off to my speaking engagement. And why not start off with a little prayer? You know you have to give everything to God. Let this day be made in your favor, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Kill it, kill it, kill it. My baby. Kill it. Let's go. And now we're off. I'm not nervous, but I'm excited to see everyone that's come out for the Afro Hair and Beauty. Of course, growing up in London, it's always about Afro Hair and Beauty when it comes to town. So how better than for me to be speaking at their edition in Ghana. Super excited to meet the lovely attendees and just get to engage with everyone and tell them a bit about my story. And here I am seeing her, Andrea, who of course put this beautiful event together. I'm super duper thrilled with the outstanding achievements she has done. Hey, I'm up next. Wish me luck. Many of you know her for her, her fabulous looks every single day, she kills it on the ground, but there's so much more to her, and that's why I'm even more excited for her to be here, so that you guys know that besides the ground, which we will talk about, there's a lot more when it comes to who she is as a woman. Thank you. So, I would like to introduce Juliet to the stage, well, to the seats right now, so give Juliet a round of applause. I believe that telling your story is so important and that's why how I felt. I wanted everyone to get an insight on what I wished a big sister would ever tell me. That's how Modern African came about. I wanted to be a big sister to other people and share my journey, my weaknesses and my strength, my struggles and my hurdles. And knowing an easy way to do that was to sit upon this panel and give people an insight, which I don't usually do, of myself and my journey and how I became the Modern African woman. My name is Juliet Olani Pekin. As a lot of you, has, as you said, know me from my social media page, Love From Jewels. I myself call myself a modern African woman because I believe that every woman has the power to change her own story. And I believe that your struggles that you go through mold you to who you're supposed to become. So growing up in London, I'll just tell you a bit about myself, give you a background. Growing up in London, I always wanted to get into fashion. It was a thing for me. And I always wanted to stand out from the crowd. But I needed to go through journeys to get there. So the journey that you're going through right now is part of your process. Your business might not be where it's supposed to be. Whatever you're doing might not be where it's supposed to be. But if you're persistent in where you're going and you have ambition and the drive to keep pushing forward, you will get there. We need to network with each other. We need to utilize the space that we have. I feel like now is the time that women need to start coming together. Like, a lot of women don't talk to each other for no apparent reason. Just no apparent reason. And it happens in fields and you can actually realize that we can be in the same industries and we can network and grow together and learn from each other because your mistake can help me so I don't make that same mistake. And my mistake can help, can help you from making your mistake. So I feel like coming to Africa definitely is something that changed my life. Africa makes you grow. Trust me, if you live your friends abroad, a lot of your friends, you have grown more than them. It makes, because it, it just pushes a drive in you. Every day you want to wake up, you don't want to quit. Every day you want to keep moving. You might not have, even sometimes you might not have the best clothes, you might not have all the money, but you're not stopping. Because it makes you put pressure on yourself. And life is about push, putting pressure on yourself because you cannot create or become a diamond without pressure. 
you need that pressure to become who you are. So you have to keep going through all the journeys and the stages and the levels that you go through in life because they're all building you, they're molding you, they're teaching you. You're learning as you're going because every stage of life you're supposed to pick up a stone. All those stones is what you're supposed to build your house at the end. Afrohan Beauty was amazing. The people came from London, America, all over the world, and they were based in Ghana. And it was so nice to see people rich in dreams, in culture, in ambition, and just trying to push their passion through Africa. I believe wherever you are in the world, you must find your pace, you must find the reason, the cause to which you are called to stand that ground. And sharing my story through this platform allowed me to engage with people which I never even foresee myself. I look at social media as taking a flight without having to catch a plane because it allows your brand to travel globally. And being in Afro Hair and Beauty today allowed my brand to travel globally to the different hearts I was able to touch and speak to. No matter who you are, wherever you are, find what niche you have. What is different about you? Don't stop, don't quit till you find it because once you find it, you understand your purpose even more. Don't forget new videos weekly. Subscribe, follow on Instagram and leave your comments below. I love hearing back from you guys and I'll definitely do my best to respond.